There's real estate. I'm reading an article here. Real estate and landlord groups file uh, to stop Biden administration from putting through this moratorium. So as far as I understand it, the CDC can't make any laws. Tucker Carlson did a huge story about this yesterday, I think. And the, Biden basically admitting that he knows it's not legal. He said he talked with lawyers and said they can't do it. But they're still trying to push it through. I mean, Nancy Pelosi is saying that something's going to be done. What, what's your take on this? What have you heard or read about all this craziness? You, they cause the lockdowns, but they also say that you don't have to pay rent. Yeah, I haven't been following it too closely, admittedly, just because I've sort of given up on allowing them uh, to, to impact my day to day. Like, I know that I'm not going to abide by it. So, you know, I don't really need to follow <laughs> unless I see people doing it directly. But it reminds me of two things specifically, um, one of which being the long-held leftist point about the uh, labor theory of value and their disdain for landlords and people that don't really necessarily produce anything of value, but rather have assets that are themselves valuable and rent them out to other people. They've never really liked that. So it's interesting um, for me to kind of see the Biden administration finally bring that to the light since they are kind of the leaders of the current Democratic Party under the guise of Joe, Joe Biden perhaps being more moderate than some of the people who have infiltrated the party in the last 10 to 15 years. Um, people like the squad that would be more explicitly left wing. But it's interesting that his now administration is taking a stance against landlords um, with a moratorium on evictions. It also reminds me of another very famous, famous phrase, which is that there's no such thing as a nation of laws which I think is basically true throughout history. And this means that essentially we can have laws in the books, but ultimately you and I are going to be the ones who have to follow them. And the people who actually make the laws and pull the strings are always going to find ways to exempt themselves from those laws, whether um, the exemptions are written into the laws or they're not going to be enforced because their friends are controlling the bureaucracies that would be in charge of that enforcement. And so I think that's basically what we're seeing now with that. And of course, the protests from the landlords and people who make a living off of those assets that generate passive income for them are not going to have their opinions taken into account as if they're important or credible because through the eyes of this ideology that is currently occupying the White House, that is not a legitimate form of value that they're providing. And so it doesn't matter if they can't feed their families. Yeah, I always find it interesting when Joe Biden has to kind of be the sane person in the Democrat Party and sort of walk back from what they can and cannot do. Honestly, they're going to try to do whatever they can, no matter what anyone says. We've seen that the Republicans don't really stand up for anything on a national level. I'm, I'm kind of thinking about the time where not too long ago where he had to say, come out and say that they don't support communism or socialism in Cuba. Not that I really believe his motivation there was to, you know, stand up for the people of Cuba. It's probably something more like uh, putting in their own regime. But isn't it interesting that Biden has to be, you know, the w more moderate one when even, you know, his vice president or <clears throat> speaker of the house is, is willing to go take the ship down all the way as far as they can. I think it's at a point now where basically it's anything to distract from the border. There's so much hypocrisy going on with lockdowns and, and mandates from the CDC, who all of a sudden is a legislative body, that they're just ignoring everything that's going on the border. I talked about this last week, where there's 190,000 people that crossed the border in June. You're telling me you're testing all the people? You're telling me they're all wearing masks and they're socially distanced? So it's gotten to the point where regular citizens... I mean, it's it's been like this. Regular citizens have to follow all these crazy rules, and now you you don't even have to pay rent because the government shut shut down your jobs. But illegal immigrants uh, don't have to follow the rules, and and Jen Psaki keeps sticking with, oh, you know, they're same protocol, they're tested, they're separated. Uh, do you buy any of that that's going on? Is is what is the real issue we no. should be talking about? Do you think? Uh, definitely the border. Not only do I not buy the the immigration thing that's going on in terms of oh, they're being vaccinated, they're wearing masks or whatever. Like, first of all, that's all fake in itself. So even if they were doing that, I don't really care. Secondly, it's like, <laughs> it's the brilliance behind it is really that they know that they can mobilize the right who have been correctly dissenting against this whole CDC mandated crap since March of 2020, which is that, oh, but the Cuban people, they're living under communism and they need freedom. And so you've got the appeal to the patriot's ego, the patriotic American's ego, because he hears the word freedom and he's like, that's what this country's about. And then he hears the word <laughs> communism and Cuba. And then he sees Cubans waving American flags and this makes him feel good about himself because he's been subjected to about five or six decades of propaganda that tells him that he's evil because he's white. And so he sees non-white people waving American flags and he's like, maybe we really can all get along. And so he's willing to go out there and to completely redirect his momentum and attention towards the Cuban people who great respect for them, especially in Florida. I think they're great. 
However, I think that if they're going to be protesting um, against the actions of the Cuban government for persecuting political dissent, I would have to kind of uh, find that a little bit ironic and unnecessary right now, considering that the American government is quite literally doing the same thing um, to political dissent in this country and conservatives are nowhere to be found. I have yet to get an email from Matt Schlapp talking about a rally uh, for, for the people who are still being locked in solitary confinement because they occupied mm -hmm. a federal building after the Capitol Police escorted them in. So I think it's all kind of, um, how you say, a psyop, so to speak.